Brother Kadash, want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Kadash, Dawa Amish to the Apostles and Elders, peace, blessings, honors, Father, brothers, and this truth. This is the chastising of the Lord. Sitting here in the spirit, the spirit came upon me to kind of dwell and start to think about the chastising of the Lord, you know, because sometimes, you know, especially when you get to a moment like we're having right now. And when I speak of that moment, I'm talking about like the quiet before the storm. And it seems like we have so many of them, you know, so it's like you started, you, you going to camp every week, you putting in the work, you on fire, you putting up videos every day. And you start to kind of look and say, man, you see the signs of these nations and everything that the Lord promised us is forming. You see World War Three forming. You see the mark of the beast on the cusp. But you, but sometimes in the spirit, because we only, we only human. So sometimes you kind of look at it like, damn, man, why they, man, I wish they just get taken down right now. Or you sometimes you say, look, I hope this thing speed up because you hasten the day. You were hasten the day, even though you got to understand prophecy and understand time you know so that leads you to say like man why these other nations ain't really getting it though because things are happening but for the most part everybody could still go to work everybody still go to work come home make their money there's still going to be an election coming up or whatever you know you if you go commit a crime esau still could come get you and send you to jail so their economy and their structure is still in place for the most part and it's still strong you know because esau will come get you so you so, but then at the same time you see like with these different things that's coming upon the earth right now and these different plagues really which really the lord is causing you see brothers starting to go through it like i'm hearing stories of brothers losing their jobs they can't work you know what i mean and it all makes sense you know they uh, families are breaking up because of that you know and it makes sense because that's the chastising of the lord the lord said you're gonna start the house of israel first and you're seeing that chastising but there's a reason why the lord chastises us it's just like if you got a son you know you're going to punish and chastise your son more or first before you go chastise somebody else's son because you care and love your son you want to make him strong you want to make him tough and it really comes down to that correction you want to correct him because you care about him the most to go to the right path you know what i mean so this is hebrews chapter 12 right verse 4 um it says here sorry okay back in hebrews chapter 12 start at verse 4 ye have not yet re resisted into blood striving against sin it says and ye have forgotten exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children my son despise not thou the chastening of the lord um nor faint when thou art rebuked of him you know because that chastising of the lord is a great thing because it really shows that the lord is still dealing with us you know and we went through that going back to deuteronomy 28 we went through that with the slavery and the captivity that we went through and we're going to go through it even worse because it's going to all come to an end at a point of time so we're going to see it come back for a period of time you know that's called jacob's trouble and then after that that's when you get the revelations 21 we're going to have that everlasting peace we're going to have that paradise in the kingdom but we have to go through it because we have to get that correction not only the two-thirds but even the elect that's in the world right now they have to go through it they have to go through this chastising to get us corrected so that's why the lord is leaving us here and the lord isn't speeding it up even though things are speeding up you know but we still have to go through these things we still have to endure to the end because the lord is still chastising us it's still some correction that has to be done with every single one of us this is why you see the camps banging on each other this is why you see the false doctrines and and people can't we can't even come together because we all still need to be corrected and that's the reason why we still have the curses on us and we're still in mystery babylon we're still in captivity and we're it's going to be that way until we start getting some of these things right and start being corrected you know let's keep going verse 6 it says from who the lord loveth he chast he chasteneth it it says and scourge every son who he receiveth right so he loves us that's why he's chastising us on um, precept on that let me see um uh, I find it you know we are all here right in this captivity this is a sentence 
for us all to start changing, you know, putting off that old man and start trying to get it right. And, you know, the truth is we still got a long way to go. We're doing work, but we still got a long way to go, man. This is Amos chapter three, verse one. It says, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, right? So the Lord said he will punish us for all our iniquities because he only known us. It's the same thing it's saying here in Hebrews chapter 2. The Lord, um, the, chast the chastening of the Lord, right? And it says, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Because also that chastising is making you strong. It's making you tough. So when the end comes, you could be ready for it, not physically, but spiritually, mentally, it's in, and it tells you not to faint. That's why you have to keep and you have to endure. You have to endure to the end and not faint. You got to keep the faith so you could be tested right now. So when the big test, Jacob's trouble comes, you could pass with flying colors because you're already being chastised right now by the Lord. You know, so all this is building up the Lord building us up to that time. Right. Verse seven, it says, if ye endure chastening. Right. And going to Matthew 24 was one of the things we have to endure to the end to be saved. It says, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he who the father chast chasteneth not? Right. Because we're all the sons of the Lord. Right. Yahweh is the first one. He's our big brother because he's the first son of the Lord. But we're sons of the Lord too. the Israelites. You know, you come from, you know, um, Negroes, Native Americans, Latinos make up the 12 tribes of Israel. And we we make up the sons of God. It says, but if ye be without chast chastisement, it says, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not the sons, right? And the other nations, you might say, and that brings that wraps it all the way around the home. You might see the other nations say, man, why they really ain't going through what we doing? Why are we still here in captivity at the bottom and they just still flourishing? Even, I mean, it was a whole pandemic and they still over us. They still got more than us. They still look at us like slaves. They still trying to tell us what to do. They still hunting our people. They still um serving themselves of our of our people. You know, they still doing it even after, you know, and you say, well, that's because the Lord ain't really worried about chastisement them. He worried about correcting us first because he love us. But then he's going to bring a judgment on them and they're not going to have no pity when the Lord brings that judgment on them. It's going to be horrible for them. It says, verse nine, four more, we have um, had fathers of our flesh, which uh, which corrected us and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection into the father of spirits and live? So we're in subjection to the Lord. Verse 10, for they verily for a few days chasten us and after their own pleasures, but he for our profit that we may be partakers of his holiness. And that's the goal, right? The goal is to be partakers of the kingdom, you know, um, joint heirs to the kingdom, you know, but it's not going to come easy. There's chastisement that, that's coming, that's even coming back even harder. What's that chastisement? This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. So this is going to be a time like never, ever before on earth, even worse than slavery. But this is going to be the end of it for our people. Then you get to Deuteronomy 30. The Lord's going to take those curses off of us. Then we're going to have that paradise, that peace. We're going to have that rest when touching Hebrews. Um, let me jump back to Hebrews. Chapter 4. Verse 11, it says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. And that unbelief is you fainting. That's you not enduring to the end. You see what I'm saying? That's how it goes together. But we got to labor and put this work in, and then we're going to enter into that rest. But there's a thing called Jacob's trouble. But Jacob should be saved out of it. Not all Israelites on earth is going to be saved out of it, but the ones that's elected. It says, verse 8, to be saved out of it for the kingdom. It, verse 8 says, for it should come to pass in that day, say the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bonds, and the strangers should no more serve themselves of him. And that's the point. They serve themselves of us. And you say, man, why are we just fine? We just keep getting chastened. Chastening, chastening by the Lord, but these other nations, they just continue to flourish. 
that's because they get to serve themselves up, um, of us. That's what it really breaks down. That's what them having us captivity really breaks down to. But that day is going to come to an end. But before that day comes to an end, there's a lot that has to happen. So we're going to um, get a precept on that, which is Daniel chapter 12, right? Verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble. See, Jacob's trouble. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people should be delivered. Everyone that should be found written in the book. But the ones found are written in the book and the ones that's going to be delivered or be saved by Yahweh Shai is the elect. But there's going to be a time of trouble like never before. And then that's when the ultimate test going, going to come. That's when the ultimate chastising of the Lord. But it's really because he loves us. It's all for correction. Right. And then he's going to take the elect. Right. And then he's going to give us the kingdom. That's what it comes down to. So there's light after the darkness. The Lord creates darkness and light. So it's going to be very dark out here for our people. And that chastisement is going to, it's just like you've been being bad, right? You've been being bad kid all day, right? And your father comes, your mom tells on you, right? And your father comes in that room with that belt. You finna get the very worst part of the punishment. But then after that, you get corrected right and then you you don't make the same mistakes that you made before and then the father loves you then when you're tested again and you pass with flying colors the father say good job okay yeah you pass. okay you did the right thing in that instant because that chastisement corrected you but it don't feel good when that punishment coming you know because you getting it at the moment you know what i mean but for us that believe and us that's been chastised by the lord because a lot of times us coming to the truth is by the way of that chastisement by the Lord. A lot of brothers are going through hell. They stumble across the videos and then that leads them to come into this truth because they can really feel that pain and that chastisement, which all Israel, you know, we can relate to because Deuteronomy 28, the curse is starting at verse 15 was put on us. That's why we know we're the Israelites through the spirit. We can feel it because we could identify with that chastisement from the lord with those curses that was put on us we could identify with that more than anybody else on earth but this is revelation 3 right um verse 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience meaning you did not faint you did adore to the end right i also would keep thee from the hour of temptation which should come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So even in the darkness, there's a little bit of light. So if, you, if you've if you been following the Lord and you elected, then the Lord's going to protect his elect when he brings this chastisement, when he brings Jacob's trouble, when he lets all hell break loose, he's going to still make a way for his elect. So with that, I'm going to say salvation to the elect. Shalom.